welcome to Our Reading University. In this video, I want to briefly cover substantive adjectives. Uh, so substantive adjectives are adjectives that are used much like nouns. So here we have an example of a noun, a nauta, and this will mean sailor. So if we wanted to use this as the subject of a sentence, we could. We could say the sailor sailed, the sailor, uh, what would be a typical Latin sentence, uh, the sailor speaks to the, popula uh, to the population or to the people, something like that. Um, here we have a noun adjective pair. And this is puellae multi. These would be multiple girls. And so we have our noun and we have our adjective. And so this could be translated also as a subject. We could put it in a different case and it could be an object of some sort. But it would always mean multiple girls. Uh, sometimes, however, because adjectives are marked for their gender, number, and case, just like nouns, we'll often just use an adjective and we'll have the gender to give the idea of what sort of noun would accompany it. So we'd say multi with the meaning of uh, multiple women or girls because it's feminine. If we were to use a plural of the masculine, we could say multi. Uh, you haven't learned this yet, but that would be multiple men or multa, which would be multiple things. And the, the gender of the adjective when it's not accompanied by a noun can sometimes tell us what is intended uh, to be uh, the sort of uh, unspoken or assumed noun it would go with. And so this can function by itself as a noun that just means multiple women. So we will see a lot of substantive adjectives in a reading and in the sorts of uh, questions and things we go over in this course, just be aware that substantive adjectives, just or because they have gender, number, and case by themselves, can be used as nouns, and the gender of the noun will tell us what the assumed noun the adjective is going with will be, whether it's a man, a woman, men, women, or things.